Hi, welcome to Free Spirit, and welcome to a close-up review and bonus reading of the Blessings Gratitude Cards. These are Blessings, 64 Ways to Be Thankful, Julia Cameron. I use this deck all the time in my readings. I've posted a close-up review of this deck already, actually, on my channel. But the new deck I recently just bought was Living Reiki Healing Cards from Penelope Guest. So what happened was... I first had this deck. They are beautiful. I'll just show you real briefly. I mean, it is just gorgeous. Look at the backs of the cards. Each one has pleasure, has a card like this, serving the whole. I mean, it's just beautiful. Divine guidance. I use these all the time. So say, for example, you have faith in action. You flip it over, and it will say, my destiny is unique and irreplaceable. My gifts and perceptions are powerful and important. My needs, goals, and desires are an outer manifestation of my inner divinity, seeking to express itself for the good of all. This is what I'm saying. They're beautiful cards. Serving the whole, like look, look compassion. To, in every moment, I am given opportunities for creative service. Sometimes that service is simple witness. I count and encounter the blessings of life. I recognize and honor the dignity of those whom I meet. And let's look at compassion. This is, I love this deck. I mean, I use it all the time. I've done a full close-up review of it. The universe is tender toward my heart. I count this a great blessing and I trust it. Frightened, threatened, or overwhelmed, I place my emotional safety in the hands of a loving universe. I ask for protection, wisdom, and discernment. I'll do one more. Divine guidance. I'll do a bonus reading at the end, but I wanted to quickly show you. So what was this one? Divine guidance. Divine love guides me. I count and I count on this blessing, reminding myself that spirit always speaks both to me and through me. I listen with my heart and I hear with clarity. This is so key for right now. This is the, these cards. I mean, they're just stunning. So I've had these for a while. There's a full close-up review on my channel already. Um, I use them at the end of a lot of readings on the channel. Um, I wanted to show you these cards, 64 Ways to Be Thankful, Blessings. This came into my life one day. Honestly, it was such a blessing. I had to stall for time. I went into Barnes & Noble um, just to browse, to stall for time before I had to meet someone. And there, I mean, Barnes & Noble doesn't even really have Oracle decks. There it was standing on a, on a shelf. And it was a day when you really need a spirit pick-me-up and... I just knew without knowing anything about the deck, even heard about it, nothing, I got it and I've always treasured this deck, how it found me. 64 cards. So what led me to re-show you this deck is the other day I bought this one, Living, Living Reiki Healing Cards, Penelope Quest. 64 cards in here, 64 cards in here. When I bought this deck, again, I was like, wait a second, look, they are all the same kind of with the with these beautiful flowers, change your reactions. Look how gorgeous. I was like, this is too similar. They must be the same um, artist or something. I mean, it's too um, similar to this deck. Come to find out, it is from the same publisher, Tarcher Inspiration Cards. So that's why I wanted to show it together. Tarcher Inspiration Cards, 64 cards in both of these decks. Similar, very relaxing, beautiful art in here. I love it shows the way Reiki works. You know what's really interesting? My whole life I've always been about the energy. I, sometimes you don't have the vocabulary, especially when you start out really young, being so sensitive to energy. You just feel energy. You know the differences of energy. You know how to work the energy. You don't know the term Reiki. I never really was very familiar with Reiki. And then when I learned more about Reiki, I'm like, okay, I've been practicing this on some level especially living Reiki, living with energy, working with energy, making sure, you know, all working with energy, riding the energy, uh, you know, transmuting the energy, all of that. Um, it's just really interesting how then when you get older, you learn um, more about other things and you realize you actually on some level, you've been practicing that the whole time. It's all about spiritual energy. And when Reiki flows into someone, it balances, heals, harmonizes all aspects of that person body, mind, emotions, and spirit, promoting relaxation and a sense of well-being. Usually, um, you know, people, you know, are really uh, work Reiki. Um, but on a living Reiki, you're working with energy all the time. That's what, you know. So, but I love, so I wanted to show these, look at this, calm. At the end, I want to do a mixed reading at the end. Gratitude, just really beautiful. Honor and respect others. 
one day at a time. Let's see, honor and respect others. Look at how beautiful. We make conscious choices when we make contact with people, choosing those from whom we wish to learn, those we want as friends, those we work with. But we need to honor and respect all the people we interact with in our lives, not just those in our inner circle, because everyone we meet is in some way one of our teachers, yes, whether we love them or loathe them because they are all helping us to learn and grow spiritually. We also need to extend this kindness to ourselves because we are important too. Beautiful messages. Beautiful, real joy. Let's see what real, look at how stunning these are. 64 cards in here too. Real joy. There is no more joyful peace in the world than exactly where you are right now because you cannot experience real joy when your mind is elsewhere thinking of what has happened in the past or what might happen in the future. Is that beautiful? These cards are just beautiful. Change your reactions. Yeah. Oh, and our higher self. Change your reactions. Just because you have formed a subconscious habit and react to certain situations in a certain way doesn't mean you have to continue doing so forever. You can change your reactions. That's so powerful. Our higher self. Oh, and the right path, the higher self. Our higher self, sometimes referred to as our inner self or soul, is that very wise part of ourselves that is totally loving and supportive and always working with us for our greatest and highest good by subtly guiding us and providing us with intuition and deep insight, whether we choose to acknowledge and act on this inner wisdom or ignore it. Love it. And the right path. Look at how stunning these cards are. I love it. If you are feeling fearful, depressed, or pessimistic, this indicates that something is wrong in your life or you are not going in the right direction. Whereas if you are feeling enthusiastic, optimistic, or content, then you are on the quote-unquote right path, doing what you need to do, being who you really are. It's following your higher self, right? You're going with the flow of energy, the energies within you. These are just beautiful. Transform negative emotions, a climate of acceptance. We can try... Half empty or half full. Oh my God, they kept on saying we have to look through these times as half full all the time. Remain positive no matter what. Become aware. Look at how stunning. Change the frequency. You are basically a human transmission tower. Yes, transmitting a frequency with your thoughts. If you want to change anything in your life, change the frequency by changing your thoughts. Your past thoughts have created the life you are living today, and your current thoughts are creating your future life. What you think about or focus on the most will appear as your life. So if you constantly think about the past, you are going to recreate those situations. I mean, I love this, attract more good. Look how stunning this is. Attract more good. If you want to attract more good into your life, you need to adopt an attitude of gratitude. One of the good things about developing the habit of being grateful is that you will naturally begin to feel more joyful and less concerned about what you have and got. Yep, you're so concerned with that. Positive expectations. Oh my gosh. Expectation is a powerfully attractive force. Expect the things you want and don't expect the things you don't want. From the perspective of the law of attraction, what you resist, you attract because you are powerfully focused on it with emotion. So if there are things you don't want in your life and you keep resisting them by constantly thinking you don't want them, you're actually will be either bringing them into your life or keeping them there. That is so true. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Practice happiness. That's what we're being pushed to do. Oh my God, enlightenment. Practice happiness because as His Holiness the Dalai Lama says, the purpose of life is to be happy. So funny the cards I'm flipping over because they keep coming through spirit. It's even in these dark, these dark, difficult times, you've got to remain positive, remain positive, bring in more joy, bring in smooth waters um, where it's turbulence. Practice happiness every day, especially now, enlightenment enlightenment despite what it is you wish to work on then create simple clear affirmations or goals in the present tense as if they were already in existence such as I have the perfect job which is fun fulfilling and financially rewarding and allow yourself to visualize your life as it will be when you have achieved your goal I love these your spiritual journey okay this will be the last one the answer is internal wow your spiritual journey and then I'll do a reading we are all spiritual all the time because that is what we are spirit having a human experience not humans having a spiritual experience 
However, each person's spiritual journey has to be taken at a pace and in the way that suits him or her. Yep. Divine journey, divine timing. We're all like that. Connecting with our higher self. I have to read this one. Connecting with our higher self is easier than most people think. Yet without this connection, it is often difficult to find the strength, understanding, and inspiration we need to live our lives. Find somewhere quiet. Listen, they kept on coming through about find your inner sanctuary. I posted that, your sacred space. Connect to the divine, your higher self, spirit guides, anything. Find somewhere quiet where you can be undisturbed for a while. Somewhere in nature is especially good. This is so true. And sit or lie down and simply intend to connect with your higher self. When it is guidance from your higher self, the answer often pops into your mind even before you finished formulating the question. And that is so true. I posted a whole spirit message about how to get direct spirit messages, how I even get them, how I ought to write messages my whole life. And it just, people have um, almost made it more difficult sounding than it really is. Everybody has heard from their higher self or their spirit guides or... Um, it, it, it comes as in you know, a space in your mind um, and it comes in just like they said even before you finished uh, formulating the question it's a profound idea a fine thoughts um, you write it down people get it they don't know what to call it we've all heard it um, I did a whole video on it that really goes into depth with it but um, to really pay attention with connecting to your higher self and your spirit guides, you're getting messages all the time, ideas, everything else. Make sense of your life. Being spiritually fit means living more consciously by being more grounded, clear, and compassionate. And this is the times right now where we are one foot on the physical, one in this tapped into the spiritual. You're the bridge. If you're listening to this video, um, we're the bridge grounding higher love. That's the whole purpose of this channel and what they said the whole purpose of us being here right now Being spiritual fit means living more consciously by being more grounded clear and compassionate Yep, this helps us to make more sense of our lives because it allows us to connect with others from a place of deeper understanding I mean, this is just beautiful the things you most enjoy Make a list of the 10 things that bring you the greatest happiness and start to incorporate at least one of them into your life every day. This could be spending more time out in the fresh air, doing something creative like painting or writing, listening to music, spending time with family, friends, baking, reading, stargazing, or any number of other things you might enjoy. They kept on saying, uplift your spirit is the most healing thing you can do. Living Reiki, to stay positive, to stay lit, to stay positive and strong and shining bright um do the things you have to feed yourself in your cup so it runneth over and the way to you ha living reiki is to make sure your energy is clear ever flowing tapped with the divine stay positive so again why i brought out both of them is because they're so similar in their design and their messages are just so beautiful so this was the living reiki healing cards from penelope quest and this was the Blessing 64 Ways to be Thankful Gratitude Cards from Julia Cameron. Both of them are amazing, and they're both from Charcher Perigee. Per I'll put all the um, information down below in the description box, like all my videos of where you can get the deck and the information. But let's do a full reading now with Blessings from Gratitude Cards from Julia Cameron and Living Reiki. Both of these cards, 64 cards, and I just love that they're both like the same style because I love, I love, I find it so uplifting, the colors, the flowers, the tone of the messages. Um, so let's start with, we'll do the blessings after. <clears throat> let's do Living Reiki first. So this is going to be an extended reading for right now because, I mean, what a time to be Living Reiki. <laughs> and, you know, I've been getting countless messages about uplifting your spirit. Staying positive, moving forward, um, especially now. So living Reiki, let me take my shoes off. Whenever I do a reading, I have to have my shoes off. <laughs> I know that sounds really weird. I've never shared that before. Um, but I have to have my shoes off. I don't know why that is. I have to be barefoot. Okay, so here we go. So Reiki, living Reiki messages for right now, for anyone who is um, tapping in right now, living Reiki, and then we'll get some blessings. I have chills already, so this is going to be a really cool reading, I can tell already. I've never really done a double deck review at the same time. I did post for Julia Cameron, the blessings, 
deck, I do have, you know, a close-up review card by card. But for some reason, both decks wanted to do a reading. So that's why I put them together. So this is kind of special to do two decks in one. <laughs> Meaning special, I haven't done it before. It's a different energy of putting these two together in a double deck review and a double deck reading. Let's see. Living Reiki. Living Reiki, what are the messages for our energy right now for anyone who finds this video? The cards are so soft when shuffling, too. They feel good. Okay, so what? Ooh, that came out right away. Living Reiki, what are the messages for anyone for us right now? Living Reiki. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so, oh my gosh, we got a lot. Oh my gosh, we got so many. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. You can't make this up. Consider your feelings. Connect with our higher self, higher level thinking, spiritual journey, and real joy. I mean, this is so amazing. I'm goop bumps already. Oh my gosh, consider your feelings. We were being pushed to really consider our feelings. How many times it's come up, people have even said to me, and I say all the time, we were the last to consider our own feelings. We were considering everybody else's feelings. Then we made the journey to connect with what? Our higher self and become a real divine connection, so divinely connected that helped us to start really considering our feelings, bringing us to higher level thinking through our connection with our higher self higher level thinking and then that was our whole spiritual journey and it led to real joy this is where we are your spiritual journey bringing in real joy let's get the full messages the first one consider your feelings i cannot even believe what came out consider your feelings recognizing and admitting to yourself that you feel angry is important because it means you are actually considering how you feel yeah this is so huge if you're making this journey. It, it's such a journey just to actually start considering how you feel rather than just reacting as if on autopilot. You are thinking th through what is happening, not just letting rip with your first instinctual habitual response. We're considering our real feelings. We're considering our own feelings, not sacrificing ourselves. Um, if you were like me most of your life, you felt like you were almost like being a martyr in a sense where everybody's needs and wants came first. You automatically gave without even thinking the next step of what it means to you. You never considered your own feelings. Connecting with your, our higher self. Look at how beautiful. Look at the dark and the light. Connecting with our higher self. Connecting with our higher self is easier than most people think. Yet without this connection, it is often difficult to find the strength understanding and inspiration we need to live our lives. This is the card they make me turn over before. Find somewhere quiet. Like I told you, this came out. I posted a direct spirit message. Find, say yes to your sacred space. Say yes to your inner sanctuary. Say yes to your personal oasis because you need that time, alone time, to connect to your higher self, especially now to remain divinely connected is what's powering us up to get through these times, to stay positive, to stay lit, to stay moving forward. Find somewhere quiet where you can be undisturbed for a while. Somewhere in nature is especially good. Nature is so rejuvenating and so you're instantly brought at peace. Um, it's just beautiful. You get lost and found in nature and healing. And sit or lie down and simply intend to connect with your higher self. When it is guidance from your higher self, the answer often pops into your mind even before you've finished formulating the question. When you're divinely, clearly connected with your higher self, that is what you're following. We kept on saying you're listening to your direct guidance, you're in the divine flow, you're a clear channel, so you're listening to your divine guidance without even overthinking about it, you feel divinely moved, and to stay connected to that. So whenever you need inner sanctuary time or anything like that, it's bringing us to higher level thinking, connecting us with higher level thinking. And it also came up with spirit messages recently, especially we with divinely connected, you have such a divine higher perspective of it all. And that helps too, because you can see farther, clearer, um, greater perspectives, greater, higher perspectives with this higher level thinking. That's what they were also saying. Um, to get spiritually fit, we need to use soul level awareness, which means raising our thinking to a higher level and viewing our lives in the context of the bigger picture. Yes, that's why they made me say that. Instead of just reacting to life in the ways that we've done in the past, we can start asking ourselves, what is the purpose, the highest truth, 
the sole gift for me in this situation. This will change things in ways that to begin with we can barely imagine. And why? Because when we have a higher, greater perspective, it immediately lifts us up from the minutia. I have no other word for it. But you're not trapped in this maze of like lower energy. You're not reacting from that level. You're reacting from up here. You understand there's a bigger, greater picture view and that helps you see farther and clearer. You don't react the same way. Um, then we have your spiritual journey. How beautiful is that? We're all spiritual all the time because that is what we are. Wow. The, the cards that came out are the ones that I turned over when showing you the cards. We're all spiritual all of the time because that is what we are. Spirit having a human experience, not humans having a spiritual experience. However, each person's spiritual journey has to be taken at a pace and in the way that suits him or her. That's why they were always saying when you have a divine, you're connected to divine, your higher self, higher level thinking, you know the things you can control, the things you can't control. You have tolerance for where people are at. You don't do the work for them. Um, you, you know, you don't overcompensate. A lot of the times in the past when we didn't consider our feelings, we were trying to do other people's work. We were overcompensating where we, we shouldn't have. We were trying to do, we wanted to be good. Um, that always comes up. Like, do the good, we were a good person. We're doing the right thing. We, we could feel the energy. We're so sensitive. So we were trying to fix the energy in times when um, it wasn't our place to do so sometimes, just because we felt it all. Um, but this spirit having a human experience, absolutely. And know that everybody's spiritual journey, first of all, we have such respect for everyone's individual spirit journey as well, has to be taken at a pace, a divine timing, and they're, they're divinely where they're at. Your spiritual journey, beautiful, real joy, real joy. And our spiritual journey gives provides that real joy. Being connected to your higher self provides real joy. Having higher level thinking provides real joy. Knowing you're on your spiritual journey, even considering your own feelings, all of this whole thing is real joy, living with real joy in this joyful energy. There is no more joyful place in the world than exactly where you are right now because you cannot experience real joy when your mind is elsewhere, thinking of what has happened in the past or what might happen in the future. Again, all these cards that came out in this reading were the ones that I just happened to turn over when showing you some of the cards. I'm kind of blown away by that. But they're also drumming home, there is no more joyful place. Like they kept on saying, bring in more joy right now. There is no more joyful place in the whole world than exactly where you are right now because you cannot experience real joy when your mind's elsewhere. Thinking of what has happened in the past or what might happen in the future, you stay in the presence and you bring in real joy right where you are. And I can't believe that is underscoring the direct spirit message I got recently of bringing in more joy right now. Your point of power right now is to remain divinely connected with higher level thinking, knowing you're on your spiritual journey, bringing in more joy for yourself and others, uplifting yourself, staying strong, positive like that. Okay, so let's end it with some blessings. This is the blessing of gratitude cards from Julia Cameron. And we have a faithful guide. Oh my gosh, I have chills, a faithful guide. My heart guides me tenderly and truly. I find ways through the wilderness. My heart finds paths through the desert. My heart is valiant and wise. My heart senses the truth and offers compassion in times of conflict. My heart has patience. My heart has humility. It is fully human and fully divine. And that's, I have chills. That's you, that's your heart who's listening. Why they were saying you're tapped in divinely. You have higher level thinking. You are so tapped in on your spiritual journey, bringing in real joy for yourself and others at this time. It is you who is a faithful guide at this time. They said in the dark times, it is you who shows up. Brilliant, strong, uplifting others, yourself with this positivity. And it is your heart. And in every reading, it has been all about the love and compassion and coming from the heart. My heart guides me tenderly and truly. I find ways through the wilderness. My heart finds paths through the desert. My heart is valiant and wise. My heart senses the truth and offers compassion. In times of tr conflict, my heart has patience. My heart has humility. Oops, it is fully human and fully divine. You have a fully divine heart is what they're saying. Oh my gosh, and I don't know if that wanted to come out, but um, oh my gosh, that was just 
amazing that you're the faithful God. They keep on saying like the divine is using all of us to be divine. You know, you're the bridge, like they said, one foot on the ground, one foot on the ground, one foot tapped into the spiritual. Um, they're using you at this time. You. They're using you. Like as you go through your life right now, being there for others, um, with this, this divine heart full of love and compassion with all that they're doing right now. This is beautiful. Are there any other blessings that they want to bring forth? That just bathed me that I almost was struck to mute. I mean, that just washed over me. And we have, oh my gosh, peaceful expansion. Peaceful expansion. <gasps> I am a field resting in the sun. My dreams germinate and grow within the security of divine love. Grace dreams with me and through me. All of my dreams are divine in origin. All of my dreams are divinely fulfilled. You are a faithful guide with a divine heart. All of my dreams are divine in origin. And all of my dreams are divinely fulfilled. My heart, look at this. It is fully, your heart is fully divine. And all my dreams are divine in origin. All my dreams are divinely fulfilled. Faithful guide to peaceful expansion. And the last one that wanted to come out was friendship. And this is, we're all doing it together. This is all of us doing it together. Friendship. I cherish the committed friendship of those who have extended themselves on my behalf. I count myself lucky to have the support and encouragement of my friends. We're all doing it together. We're all doing it together. It's this love, this compassion. You're a part of divine source with a divine heart. And so there's a peaceful expansion and fulfillment of this. And it's from all coming together from this place, a divine friendship and partnership of this energy. I'm blown away. I mean, these, these are recurring messages that come through in every spirit reading and message I've posted to the channel. So the top one was, let me show you. Um, this was the blessings from, from um, 64 Ways to be Thankful Gratitude Cards were these top ones, Peaceful Expansion Blessings, 64 Ways to be Thankful, Julia Cameron. Then we had underneath was the Living Reiki Cards, which I just got, which I figured out the mystery of why it was so familiar with the Julia Cameron deck, because it's from Charcher. Um, Charcher, I'll put it down below because I can't pronounce it. Living Reiki, healing cards from Penelope Quest. Both the decks have 64 cards. Both have those beautiful, loving, like, lo first of all, loving, 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 loving the messages that are on both these cards. Um, I love how they even work together on this reading. I love that there are 64 cards. I love the flowers. I love the flowers and the colors and the messages um, within them. I, I totally treasure both these decks. Um... And so I, this is the most recent one I just got. And um, I figured out why it looks so familiar to the other ones. And um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful messages. So this has been my close-up review. This deck I already have. You can see every single card on my channel already. I've used this consistently ever since I miraculously found it that day at Barnes & Noble. And then this deck I just recently saw. I, I saw it for some reason buying another deck. I saw a picture. And when I saw the picture, I said, I know that design. And I love how relaxing, um, I love how calming it is. The, the images here, they're just really calming. And the messages themselves bathe me. And I also find that it's very accurate. As you can see, this message, this reading, even with the two decks, we're reiterating every spirit reading and message I've posted to the channel, especially during this time. So these are two decks. And um, yeah, so this has been my close-up review of them and an extended reading for this time. Take care. Bye-bye.